BAE Systems is one of the world's largest technology and defense companies, employing more than 83,000 people worldwide. They build all kinds of things for the Army, Navy, and Air Force. We protect those who protect us. John Kelly oversees the Empower Innovation Center here at BAE Systems in Nashua, New Hampshire. This is the U.S. headquarters for their Electronic Systems Division working on projects so complex that an owner's manual could be a thousand pages long. And information overload. From designing it right to building it right requires an incredible amount of technology. And this is where augmented reality comes into play. Augmented reality uh, you know, really compresses that timeline of human understanding by appealing to that visual storytelling nature of human beings. If you stare at that circle, the application will start for you, and you should right. see some helicopters about to take off. I'm seeing a helicopter. Using AR, they can bring me along on a training mission just by putting these headsets on while never actually leaving the company lobby. You can actually put on one of these, and you can have a Chinook take up the whole lobby. <laughs> We're not giving them a, a PDF or a little PowerPoint. We're actually able to show them these animated experiences that they can look at. With these HoloLens headsets, it feels like you can actually reach out and touch things that are not really there. Humans are really visual storytellers, Mike, right? And so as a defense company, we have perhaps some of the most complex stories to tell. BAE Systems doesn't just build things for the military. They also have a commercial division. Using augmented reality, I can walk through the engine room of a ship using one of their hybrid electric motors, clear out in San Francisco Bay. It's known as visual teleportation. Engineers can use this technology to help with maintenance, even when the physical ship is thousands of miles away on the West Coast. It's understanding at the speed of sight. We've been incubating it since 2016, uh, and uh, now we're driving it into all parts of the business. That means bringing AR to the factory floor. No more paper instructions during assembly. A worker can follow how to assemble these green energy batteries for a bus without having to reference a complex manual. The speed at which they can understand and, and that we can make complex topics accessible is remarkable. Augmented virtual reality over a period of five to seven years is just going to become omnipresent, right? It's going to be all across the business. That's what happens when a Category 2 hurricane with 110 mile per hour winds throws something at your house. Most homeowners use cheap plywood to board up their windows, upgrade your wood choice, and you can prevent the damage. So this 2x4 is not able to go through the 1 inch, but can go through the half inch very easily. Exactly. This is FM Global's test center in Gloucester, Rhode Island. Here they experiment with all kinds of natural disasters. Because when you understand how things fail, you can design them so that they don't fail. FM Global is an insurance company that specializes in loss prevention. They've learned that if they can show how something breaks, clients are more likely to work at preventing the damage in the first place. We've always believed that it's better to prevent a loss from happening than to pay the claim for one. Catherine Klosowski is vice president of natural hazards and structures. With this test equipment, they create, weigh, and measure a hailstone, and then shoot it at this slate roof. It really broke this up, didn't it? It sure did, yeah, and that's the kind of damage that a large hailstone can do. This might convince a homeowner to choose a different kind of roof. Strong winds from a tornado can throw things at a window. Design the window correctly, and the glass breaks, but keeps the elements outside. Design it incorrectly, and it shatters, well, like glass. The window on this side had a protective film on it, um, so it withstood the damage similar to when gravel gets picked up and thrown at a window, whereas the window on that side doesn't. They can even simulate a full-blown earthquake right here in the lab. Six massive pumps rattle this room like a 7.3 earthquake. It only lasts 30 seconds, but it proves how violent a quake can be. You'll see it's kind of a mess, so watch your step as you're coming in. Experiments like this help them determine where and how to place sprinklers or attach appliances to a wall. We might not be able to stop Mother Nature, but we can stop the disaster. Wow, FM Global does offer some of its educational resources to the general public. That's, of course, available online. Ounce of prevention worth a pound of cure. All right, and BAA Systems continues to grow. They hired actually 2,500 people in the last 18 months, and they're always looking for new engineers. All right, what exactly is computer code? This is a pretty good description.